I am educator inspired. My educator that inspired me is Mr. Timothy Jackson from Fayetteville Manlius High School. He was my modified football coach, my earth science teacher, and my student council advisor. And he was also a pseudo father to me when my parents separated, taking me on fishing trips and hanging out with me and talking to me pretty much every day after school for four years. My favorite teacher is Miss Murphy because every time I need help and I ask her, she always helps me. And the teacher that inspired me is a gentleman by the name of Mike Urell. Peekskill High School, uh, class of 79, uh, a wonderful gentleman. I would go on to become an epidemiologist. I retired here from New York State Department of Health. But it was him that reached out to a youth that absolutely changed the direction of my life, made college a desired goal and outcome in a community where going to college wasn't even a, a forethought or an afterthought. So, Mr. Riorel, I hope I did you proud. The educator that inspired me was Bill Webster. He was my 10th grade biology teacher. He inspired me to the extent that I became an AP Biology, Chemistry, Earth Science, and 15 to 1 Living Environment teacher for almost 28 years. And it was that teaching with kids and working with my colleagues that led me to become a New York State Senator and advocate for public education. Bill Webster is who inspired me. An educator that inspired me was Mrs. Stevens, my first grade and fourth grade teacher. She taught a joint classroom of advanced students in science and mathematics, and that uh, her ability to, re to, to show me the possibilities of the future helped inspire me to pursue advanced degrees in engineering and management, and now I'm in semiconductor manufacturing for more than 25 years. And the teacher that inspired me probably the most is Mrs. Carlos Ann Butler from Peekskill High School. She inspired us, she showed us that we can be anything that we wanted to be, and she also made sure we knew our history. Ms. Carlos Butler showed me I can really do it whatever I want, and she's probably another big influence on me of becoming um, the first Chief Diversity Officer for the New York State Office of Parks, Rec, and Historic Preservation. My favorite educator growing up was my third grade teacher, Miss Yonkers. She would come into class every day and tell us about a different story because she had traveled the whole world and that absolutely inspired me so much to the point where when it came time to me for me to go on through college and everything, I went and studied abroad. When I was in high school, I was able to go to Italy and I would have never thought that going to other countries would have been possible without her coming in. Hi, this is State Controller Tom DiNapoli. I have so many educators that made a difference to me, but I want to do a special remembrance of my second grade teacher, Sue Wallach, who actually passed away just a few months ago. At that very early age of being a second grader, she was so supportive, so nurturing, so inspiring me uh, to be the best that I could be at Meadow Drive Elementary School down in Nassau County, Long Island. So, Mrs. Wallach, you're always thought of, revered and loved. Thank you for everything you did for me. You were the best among the best. When I went to high school, we had this really great science teacher, Mr. Roden, and he used to just ask questions and encourage us to think of answers. He didn't stand and lecture in front of us all the time. And last year, we realized that he's getting older and we wanted to make sure that he knew how much we appreciated him, so some of us wrote him letters. We, we tracked him down and we wrote him letters to say thank you, um, even though that was 30, 40 years ago. So he's a good teacher. I'm educator inspired.